Hey everybody, welcome back to another Doc MP3 video, and today is going to be the part 2 of my iPod 5th Gen. Also, once because this is going to be kind of short, I also have another MP3 player to show off. So, But we're going to start with this first, because there's not going to be much more to talk about. As you can see, I have songs on here now. I use it all the time. It's really good. I really love it. Great gift. Shut down. Charge is fine. Everything was perfect besides this, but that's all fixed now. It's great working condition. And yeah, that's about it. That's why I wanted to just like, just like it was gonna be a short video. That's why I was gonna do another thing. So we're gonna go ahead and put that to the side. And what this main video is all about is something I found at the thrift store. It was half off, so. This packaging is huge for such a small thing. We have the, oh God, I can't remember. Um, there we go. <laughs> the Memorex. Is it live or is it Memorex? This thing is very small and it comes a giant pack. I mean, look how thick that is. Okay, I don't know how to do it because this thing is so big. I don't know how to show it. Oh, guys splash proof would you look at that splash proof and it comes with some buds can't wait for that enjoy subscription to go music they have a subscription 512 megabytes up to one gigabyte sd card and digital fm and this thing has 60 gigabytes so digital music player expandable up to 480 more songs would you look at that also i'd like to point out for some reason at the top it has droplets i guess that's just um to show off the splash proof um let's see at the back of this thing don't know what that means a memorex storage it's pretty much just telling you exactly what's on the front with a bit more detail to it high speed usb 2.0 interface mass storage device with plug and play functionality oh here's the features a digital fm tuner uses one triple a not included i don't have a triple a well i did say it comes with a usb cable so maybe it charges hopefully up to 16 hours playback time Flash memory with skip protection technology. Equalizer with six presets, firmware upgradable. PC and Mac compatible, that's good. I have a Mac. USB port. This package contains player and sport case. This comes with a case. Stereo head earphones right here. They look terrible. And I can tell you right now that they won't fit my ears. Um, installing music management CD. Wow. USB cable. And here are the dimensions. Display has a fine line. Of, um, how can I show this? Uh, this package is huge. There we go. <laughs> display five line display shows artist track and album. And blue blacklit LCD display. Damn. What amazing little device. Um, the bottom is just or uh, yellow. Made in China, Western Florida. Design designed in California. Oh, here's the top. God, this is impossible. Um, eh, this is hard. Um, I guess that's everything. Oh, this shows you. Oh God, this is gonna be so hard to show kind of blurry um i'll just describe it. that's somebody using it that's an sd card the cable what is that oh it looks like you could strap it to your arm how fun okay let's crack this open i don't have a knife but i have tweezers so if i need them oh great stop focusing so if i need them there but i think it's already open so Nope, it's not. Okay, well, use my tweezers. They're sharp, so, yeah. And now you can get a better look at the top. Well, that's their website. Um, no promo, but, oh, wow. Dense plastic. Oh, there's a the little pool tag. 
Yeah, look at all that packaging for such a tiny little device. Look, this is my hand. This thing is huge for such a tiny thing. Well, I guess that kind of explains it, but they didn't need such giant power for that stuff. There's the case and strap and go oh, the ear pods, guys. What we really want right now and the USB. I'm guessing that's a CD. Let's crack it open. Hopefully. Oh no. Please don't tell me. That's this horrible plastic packaging. I can't just crack it open. Uh, I hate this plastic. If you package anything like this, I hate you. Memorex, you need to make your stuff more easy to get to. I don't have scissors. Um, where's my tweezers? <laughs> I could try to use my tweezers. Oh, damn. See, this is what I mean by my tweezers being sharp. Look at that. Look at that. Like, I can barely bend that and this is stabbed through. I thought it was going to do anything. This is horrible. Who does this? Well, good news is, is that it's never been open. Probably because I didn't feel like tearing through this. My tweezers are in it. You gotta get creative here. Use a pencil. Okay. Okay, that might break it. Okay, so this is my progress. Open for Where is it? Right, right there. It's kind of not focused. Just that tiny hole. Oh, I managed to do this horrible thing open you know you have to really think about your packaging when you have to open it with pliers let's hope they're taking note um what's this company called memorex yeah guys think about what you're doing i feel bad for anyone that had to buy this can you believe no one's bought this it's an amazing thing really makes you work for your gift, you know? I do know that it won't damage the MP3 player because it's like a good two inches from where I'm tearing at it. The only thing it might damage is the uh, case, but I doubt I'm ever gonna use that anyway. So, the plastic is just like stabbing me. Give me the freaking music player. Look at this. This is impossible. You know what, I'll cut back to when I'm done. Okay, I did this. So I'm just gonna like pull everything out. I already got the strap out. That, it's like a saw trap. Oh, nice, it's one of these. It actually comes with. Okay, okay. This sucks. Never again. But we got it. We got the Memorex. Was that worth it? Probably not. What I I would probably never want to do that again. I had to use pliers to get that out. All right. Let's take a look at the user's guide. Nice tour. That was horrible. Trash. I wouldn't be surprised if I broke it. Here's the CD. Windows Media. Don't think I can get anything out of that. Product registration. Proof of ownership, guys. This is proving that I have, um, that I own it. Ooh, they're giving out $100,000, a giveaway. Wonder when it says it expires. When is this? When was this? What is it? It's a Q&A. anyone ever actually participated in this. Two thousand. Whoa! It ends at December thirty first, two thousand seven, guys. I think I'm just a little late. 
Man, that sucks. Anyway, the Memorex MMP8564 suffix A. Whoa! Oh my god. Look how thick that is! There's a map. Um, yeah. Amazing. I'll look at that if I need to. It's, it's pretty light. I'm going to peel it off, guys. The most satisfying part. If I could. There we go. Oh, that's nice. It's like rubbery. Let's take a look at the case. It's a little Ziploc bag. Like rubbery. This isn't bad quality, I guess. This isn't just a button. You like it's like a joystick. It's kind of weird. Let's go ahead and slide it into its case. Is that in? Yeah, it's more slippery though. Wonderful. They came with a strap to put on your shoulder. Yeah, I'm not gonna need that. We have the buds. Oh damn. These are kinda heavy. I'm not even gonna lie, I thought these were gonna be like very light. Yeah, these are actually kinda hefty. What? They have you do it yourself? <laughs> yeah, these aren't gonna fit me. These ne these kind of headphones never fit my ears. But I guess I'll put them together like a damn Lego set. Okay. Can't even make you do it yourself. As if opening the packaging yourself wasn't enough. They make you put the foam over the headphones. Alright, well, I got one. This foam is really crappy. Yeah, no, these aren't bad, like, feeling-wise. This isn't, like, cheap plastic or anything. Pretty hefty, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe this will be good, I don't know. My expectations are raising the more I look at this thing. Packaging? No, never again. I hope they never do that again. That was horrible. And I hated it. Getting the foam on here is kind of hard. But once you get it, it's kind of good, I guess. So, uh... <sighs> Come on. Get it. Okay, got them on, and they're tied together, only down there for some reason. Take them off. The, the um, cord is pretty good. It's like actually good quality. It's thick rubber going over the wires. That's good. The audio jack, it's one of these. Where it, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it plugs in. Yeah, it goes in at the top. It's kind of a weird place to put it. Where's the charging cable? It says that it, it has a USB cord. There's a button. Oh, sh Okay, I found it. You take the top off. Okay, you just snap it. And there's the button back here to push it out. That's a weird... I mean, I guess it kind of hides the cord and stuff, so I guess that's okay. Um, we'll mess with these later. Here's the cord. Whoa! No wonder this thing was heavy. How much power does this thing take? First of all, the cord is thick in itself, but it has one of these! Holy crap! It's a good cord, though. It's really thick. Good to have one of these, though. I don't have many of these. So, I'm gonna get my laptop. Plug this thing in and see if there has anything on it and see if it'll power up without a battery. It's not that small though, I mean, it's a good size. All right, I have my laptop, I'm gonna have to make some room on my desk. Let's see if this works. Ooh, startup. Since there's nothing on the bottom, I might as well put the case back on to, you know, protect it. All right, let's see if we'll even power on with it plugged in. Cord is plugged in. See if it does anything. 
or if I need AAA. I don't have any batteries, so. Did I do anything? I did. Oh! Alright, it's on. There's a mini thing. USB connected ready. Don't fall. This is still kind of weird. I don't know why they did that. Oh, there it is. No name. Wonderful. Shows up there. It's no name. Let's see if we can't drag that into there. All right. I don't know if this is going to work. We just got to hope it does. Um, eject maybe? Can I keep it plugged in? Does this thing not charge? Right, I'm going to look for a AAA battery. I might have one somewhere. I think I have one in my remote. So I'm going to go get that. Got my remote. Take out one of the batteries. Put it in this amazing MP3. Ow, God. Turn this on. Oh, there goes Memorex. Ooh, look at that blue, guys. All right. Go and plug this in. Okay. okay. Yep, it's in there. All right. It's good. How to play it. All right, it's on the side here with the button buttons. Uh, I can't see where's the... There it goes. Is this working? Where's the volume thing? How do I know if it's turning up or not? Oh wait, I gotta hit the iPod thing. Oh, there it goes! I can't tell if it's turning up or not. But it works! And you can skip to the only song on here. Isn't that amazing? Okay, that pauses it too. I think this is also the volume, so you can either use the side or the joystick. This is kind of weird. I don't just have one. This makes it so you can't use anything. Or not. What? Hey, okay, this is confusing as hell. Um, looks like that's it. <laughs> All right, um, well, now that we know that works, let's go ahead and try the strap. I'm gonna put it on my arm. See the quality of the strap, you know. It's not like, it's kind of hard. Oh God. All right, so it looks like you just put it through here. Um, I don't know if that's gonna fit. Seems a bit thick. Oh, come on. Yeah, okay, I locked it into place. I forgot to do that. Nice and secure. Now we find a way to... Here, maybe if I take it out of its case and try to put it through there without it first. I don't know which way it goes. I'm surprised the Velcro fits through it. Yeah, if you want to put this on, you're going to have to take it out of the case first. Now you're ready to go on a jog. Put it back. Case. How amazing. Let's see if it even fits. I'll try to show you guys if it does. I got it on. Yeah, how amazing. Look at that. Isn't that just great? Now I can use it while I'm running. Take this thing off. Me. Can you believe no one's bought this? Amazing. Let's go ahead and take the case out and admire the thing and its beauty. This is just plastic. It's it's kind of it's not even that good of plastic. It's bendable. Oh yeah, we still have to try out the headphones. I have a good idea. I, I think these would be nice. If they were to fit my ears, that would have been perfect. Plug that in. 
turn it back on because the battery fell on it. What the? Why? What the? Look how small the one is compared to. Look. Why? What? What? What the hell? Why? What? What was the point of that? Why did they make one so much smaller? Look how much more wire there is to the second one. I swear I'm not making this up. Look, it's completely straight. Why is it completely longer? Come on, come on. There it goes. But why? That's really weird. Is there a way you're supposed to hold it? Let me see the pictures. That's weird. Is that on purpose? Could I make the... That's... It's not adjustable. Or it's just longer. Then the, that's weird. Alright. Let's see if they even fit my ears. Just as I expected. Not really. They're too big. These hurt. Let's try them out though. Is it playing? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, let's turn it up. I paused it. This joystick is... I'm gonna put it way up. Okay, the volume bar is right there at the, at the top. Turn that baby all the way up. So here's the sound quality. Why isn't it playing now? Oh, there it goes. Listen to the quality of those headphones, guys. It's not bad. I mean, I'm not a headphone guy, so I wouldn't really know. I mostly am about the quality, and I don't like them. Because for some reason, they made one longer than the other. It's like two, three, four inches like longer. And that doesn't make sense of why they would do that. Like, I'm not kidding. If I... Here, I'm trying to do it so I can show you all of it, so you know that I'm not kidding. Okay. Look at this. Completely flat, right? From there. Why? What? Whose idea was this? California, what the hell is wrong with you? Alright, well, let's try to see the quality. Good plastic. Fake metal. It's just painted to look like metal. It's not bad. I just don't know why they would make the one so much shorter. Like, that doesn't make sense. Why would you do that? Okay. Okay. Here, give me back my battery. Give me, give me, that's a good battery. Give, you don't deserve one anymore. Give, give it. Yeah, give it. Go back in my room. I don't know. I think I broke it. All right, well, you're gonna need tweezers if that ever happens to you. But it's like a weird way of locking it. It's really weird. Plug it in and put the cap back on. All right. Well, let's go ahead and discuss the look of it. It's not a bad look. I mean, it's just a... Like a really rounded triangle. <laughs> anyway. Look at that, there's the logo there. It's all nice and hollow, look at that. The joystick is just a little too small and it accidentally makes you actually click it to pause it. So that's kind of annoying if you ever want to skip a song or turn it up. On the side, we have a menu lock screen. Like, I, get, I would say it's to lock the control so you can't use it. Like it's their version of Apple Switch, but it doesn't seem to work. And the power button is just a power button. Then on this side, you have the volume button and a pop button, which doesn't make sense because you have the same thing here. Like, why add this if you could just do that here? Bottom is just rubber, and on the back, it has the M. Look at that. The serial number, which is, I think it's just a sticker. Made in China. It's a nice color gray. It's not a bad color choice. It's a weird backlighting, but I guess everyone does that for cheap things. It's not like cheap quality or anything. It's just, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's good if you want a quick thing for it to go. 
Like, if you're going on a run or something, I guess this would be perfect for you. iPod Shuffle. It's the size comparison. It's big compared to the Shuffle, obviously, but I think the Shuffle can hold more songs. <laughs> it's about as big as a iPod um, Mini. Or not Mini. As big as this. Maybe a little bit smaller. It is definitely thicker. Like, this is a chunky boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, chunky. Put all that back. It's a nice little addition to my MP3 collection. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. These suck. These are terrible. I don't like them. So, yeah. Let's go in. Here, I'm taking this off. Get out. No. This strap, I'm never gonna use. Come on. There we go. Let's put the baby back in its case. We gotta protect it. So we don't do things like that, you know. Oh wait, it's splash proof. We forgot to do that. I doubt the iPods are splash proof. Oh boy. I don't have water. I don't know. Splash proof, wow. Oh, will I use this? Probably, I don't know. Because I have this, so I don't know why I'd want to use this. It's a nice little thing. Comes with a lot. And here's the disc. Let's might as well see if this is scratched up or anything. I wouldn't be subscribed. Oh, uh, not subscribed. I wouldn't be surprised if it was scratched up over here. Oh, oh shit. Windows Media Square. Version 2.0. That's good. Wow. Go ahead and put that back. All right. Well... That was all for this video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and go ahead and subscribe below if you're new. And yeah, uh, I'll see you guys again when I get a new one. I'm also glad I got to review this again. I really love this thing now that it's fixed. So I guess that's it. Bye.